just want to show you a couple of examples of some needle tan applique coupled with some reverse applique. So this is a quilt that I've done called Wagon Wheels. And you can see here that I've done my circles on the laid applique around the outside. I've done reverse applique and these little pieces in here. And then around the outside I've done some bias strip applique. And I've appliqued my English paper piecing. So I've pieced these ones up with English piecing and then I've appliqued them to the background. So that's an example of working with on laid and reverse applique on the same quilt. So um, it's, a, it's a great quilt to do. Lots of repetition on this quilt. Lots of beautiful fabrics. Next one I want to show you. Yes, a lot of you will have already seen this quilt. It's a basket quilt. And again, I have used the on laid applique with the basket, and then I've done some reverse applique in the handle and then through the middle of the basket there. So I've actually appliqued the basket shape on, and then I've done my reverse applique after I've got the whole basket applique down on the outside edge. So again, it's a mixture of both on laid applique and reverse applique. The centre is all applique as well. And again, it's all on laid applique except for the little piece in the basket which ties it in with the small baskets. So some great examples for you. Reverse applique is one of those things, again, the word reverse, it frightens people. So you need to uh, just, you know, don't be afraid of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now the clipping's a little bit different. Well, it's no different. It's the same, but we're clipping on the inside rather than on the outside. So I've prepared, I'll show you how I go about doing reverse applique. So what happens with reverse applique, instead of having the red on the front, like we have here, we're going to have the red underneath. So I've taken my pieces of fabric and I've layered them up so I have my cream on top and my red on the back this time. And I've actually just put a little bit of blue in behind to hold it on. And I have taken a heart template and I have traced around the outside of the template. So reverse applique means that we're going to cut this center piece out here. So with my little scissors, I'm going to cut all the way around but we're actually on the inside of the line this time. And again, make sure, always your glue is always in the wrong spot, make sure that the seam allowance isn't too wide. Going to clip on the inside, so that's our outside. So we're going to clip into the curve this time. We're clipping in this way and we're going to clip two threads away from the drawn line again. And this time, instead of clipping in here, we're going to clip down here and we'll do one thread past the drawn line. Okay? And then we don't have to clip here. So we're clipping on the opposite places that we clipped before. So that's with reverse applique. So again, you would do exactly the same thing. Clip. Make sure your little embroidery scissors are sharp to the point because it makes life a lot easier. And this time we would use a cream thread coming around there because our top fabric is cream. Okay, so open up the packet. Whoops, lost it. So I'm going to take a cream thread. One of my needles. 
Now remember when you're threading these needles, the eye is fine. Hold it, uh, hold the eye over something white and you can see there's actually a hole in it. Just put a knot in the end of your thread. Okay, so what have I put here? And then clip into that. Always got the glue in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm going to come up behind the white this time. I have a cream thread. And again, now you're going to turn this edge under. So your needle's coming out of the white this time. We're going to go down into the red. Come up on an angle. So you're going straight down next to where your thread is, into the red, up on an angle, into the white. You can see how easy it is to work with these longer needles because you can grab the whole thing in your hand. You're not trying to grab it with just two fingers. And it does bend a little bit and manipulates in your hand. Okay, so you would just come down and do exactly the same thing. This here would be the same as what we did on our point here. And then up the top here would be the same as how we dealt with the bottom here. So everything's in reverse this time. So that's as easy as on laid applique is, um, reverse applique, sorry. I'm not mixed up. That's as easy as it gets. So there's no need to be afraid of it. Sometimes you might want to do something, I'm not sure if you can see that here, but you've got a heart shape and you want to cut the centre out. So you can do on laid applique around the outside and then you can cut the centre out so that you can actually see the cream coming through the centre. So you basically have an outline just like that. And that makes for a really cute little heart shape. Okay, so I guess that's the finer points of needle turn applique, uh, you know, the way I do it. You can see that I don't have lots and lots of different tools that I use. Um, again, I'm a bit hyperactive, most people know that, and I like to get from point A to point B as quick as I can, but again, not to the detriment of my work. And I think if you can master needle turn applique, you're going to love it a whole lot more than, you know, than you do right now, I guess, because, you know, if you can pick up a couple of these tricks and apply them to what you're doing, your journey's going to be so much better and you'll be a, a lot happier and you'll probably do a lot more of it. So I want to thank you for joining me today and um, I hope to see you again soon and we'll have lots and lots of new things coming your way, lots of tips, techniques and, um, you know, lots of information. So have a look at our website and um, have a look at our other YouTube videos that we have. So thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.